So we've heard professors and academics call President Trump racist, and even brand America as racist. But for some, that simply isn't enough. One University of Washington academic argues that the English language itself is racist. Let's check it out. Let me introduce you to Asao Inu, a University of Washington academic who purportedly investigates racism in writing assignments, e.g. writing programs, writing placement, etc., which includes classroom writing assignments. About half of his work is theoretical, while the other half is empirical in nature. Inu is traveling across the country to American University in DC next month to give a workshop to faculty entitled Grading Ain't Just Grading, Rethinking Writing Assessment Ecologies Towards Anti-Racist Ends. Inu will teach faculty about the ways that white language supremacy is perpetuated in college classrooms despite the better intentions of faculty, particularly through the practices of grading writing. White language supremacy. What are these people on? Like, oh hey, what language do you speak? I speak English. Oh yeah, well, I speak white. An American university isn't the first school where Inu has introduced this absolute hogwash either. No, he's also the director of the University of Washington at Tacoma's Writing Center. In fact, the first time I ever got on the Drudge Report as a journalist was when I covered a poster that the UW Writing Center hung, which insisted that American grammar was a racist, unjust language structure. The poster said, We promise to emphasize the importance of rhetorical situations over grammatical correctness in the production of texts and we promise to challenge conventional word choices and writing explanations. Listen, I hate to break it to you, but language does have objective standards, and it's important that it stays that way if you want to ensure that members of a nation can communicate effectively. Cultural Marxists, of course, are intent on eradicating that unity in favor of diversity. When it comes to linguistics, this means diversity of language, as well as fragmenting English speakers into different groups. Of course, with diversity comes division, enclaves, and a lack of empathy that sometimes boils over into violence. Leftists don't seem to understand or care about this, but you'd think that they'd at least care about the short-term effects of erasing objective grammatical standards in favor of wishy-washy everything goes. Kiddos who come out of Inu's writing center, for example, using ebonics, inventive spelling, or otherwise incorrect English, aren't going to get much sympathy from potential employers. The casualties of zealously pursuing an ideology are often, unfortunately, the very people you purport to protect. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.